哈喽，大家好，欢迎来到洛杉矶华资讯网的直播现场，我是主播莉亚。白内障听着很吓人啊，但实际上呢，这可能是每一个人都会得的眼睛的疾病。老年性白内障，这是眼睛晶状体老化的一个产物。说实话，只要你活得够久够长，你就一定会得白内障。只不过区别就是，有些人40岁他就有白内障了，那有些人呢，他就是到80岁才会有。不过呢，不用担心啊，因为现在的眼科技术真的非常好。那患者呢，有很多种治疗白内障的选择，那甚至。是呢，其中的一些疗法可以一举将近视、远视、散光，再加上白内障一起解决，可以说是四大眼科问题一个解决方案。那么今天呢，我们很荣幸就邀请到来自美国德州休斯顿的眼科顶级专家 Dr. Fred m a d i o l i 他拥有二十二年的丰富从医经验，是休斯顿大学手术中心的资深专家，同时也是休斯顿排名第一的诊所 m a d i o l i Visions Professional 的创始人，尤其是擅长白内障的治疗。今天呢，他将与我们分享。白内障人工晶体的多个选择。Hello, Dr. Marioli. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, Leah. It was absolute pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. So let's start at basic for our viewers out there. When we're talking about cataracts, what exactly are we referring to, and what might people notice if they have them? Sure. So cataracts is one of those things that essentially all of us will have in life.、Uh, there's cataracts that can occur from birth. And there's the cataracts that we think about our, you know, grandparents having cataracts.、Mm -hmm. So that's obviously much more common. So eventually, the lenses in our eyes start to darken, and that's what we call cataracts. So it actually begins in a to to lose some of its clarity, really in our late forties and then throughout our seventies.、Um, so essentially, it is a clouding of the natural lens that we have inside our eye. And I can. It's a lot easier if I. I'm gonna try to get this model up here. So if you、oh, see、great. this, yeah, this eye that we have. Okay, so here's the, the outside of the eye, of course, the cornea, and then the pupil in the middle, and then the brown, green, blue of somebody's eye called the iris. Well, behind the little black hole here, the pupil, there's a lens. Let me get that here. So this lens sits here, and it's normally clear and transparent. Yeah. So over time, any opacification of this lens, we call it a cataract. So, as an extreme example, this model shows you how it gets cloudy.、Mm -hmm. And of course, if we have something in the eye like this, you can see you lose the clarity. Yeah. Right. So now it's blocking the light. So even if you put your contact lenses on outside here, or you put your glasses in front of your eye, that light is not going to get through. This cataract is just too dark. It's like having a a,、um, a cloudy window, or on the headlights of your car. How over time they start to get kind of that golden brownish color, and your your lights aren't as bright as they used to be. Something like that. Easy way to think about it. 嗯哼，那马丁尤利医生呢给了一个非常好的一个例子啊，就说人的这个眼睛呢，实际上它的水晶体如果浑浊了，就之后的话，你的眼睛表面就算戴眼镜，就算是戴隐形眼镜，它都不管用的。那就像前面说到一点，就是人的一生总要得白内障，就看你活得多久。要么有些人四十岁得，要么有些人七十岁得。所以的话，它是一个非常非常常见的一个眼科疾病。Um, now, Doctor Mariuli, if it is so common, like if somebody knows that they have cataracts, what is the next? Yeah, so a lot of times at an eye exam, they'll tell you you have you know cataracts. But also, patients can notice some things like decreased night vision.、Uh, they just can't see as well as they used to, even with their glasses.、Um, maybe they can't recognize their friends' faces as well as they as well as they used to until they're closer.、Mm -hmm. um, so poor lighting conditions, people will notice a lot a lot more、uh, vision change when they have cataracts. Sometimes、um, the colors aren't. The same, wow. Because you may, somebody may be seeing a white, and you may be saying, "Oh, well, that's kind of beige or yellow," because you have cataracts. <laughs>、um, so, if somebody knows they have cataracts, the 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 concern is: is it affecting your life? People have. We all do different activities. We all have different needs. Some people drive at night. Some people never drive at night. So, depending on the level of your cataracts, and more importantly, the level that it's affecting your life. That's when we start looking, considering should we do the cataract operation and remove them and get your life back.
嗯哼，那马尼格利医生提到呢，就是说，实际上因为白内障太普遍了，所以呢，你要不要做手术，其实取决于就是说它有多大程度要影响到你的生活。然后呢，在更换水晶体时，其实有很多的选择哈。那你可以呢，一道把你眼睛里的其他问题解决，因为有的时候伴随白内障可能会有远视或者是近视的这样多重眼科问题的发生。So, Doctor Marioli, I've heard something about um artificial intraocular lenses being a game changer. So, what is your take on that? Oh, I absolutely agree. So I've been doing this about 23 years now, and、uh, so we've seen a lot of changes in technology,、um, lens technology in particular. And oh, there's probably 12 to 15 different lenses, intraocular lenses that you mentioned.、Mm -hmm. These are once you remove the the cataract, you replace it with one of these lenses, and to help you focus the the light again. So there's many many options, and、uh, it's is definitely a game changer. So now we can、um, treat patients a lot sooner with mild cataracts rather than having to wait until they're you know very advanced. Okay, speaking of these lenses,、uh, there's often talk about like multifocal lenses versus singular focal lenses. Can you break it down for us for the differences and share the pros and cons for each? Yes, of course. So. The, let's start with just the what we call monofocal, one focus, single focus lenses. These are essentially just to have you see far away. Okay, and that's kind of the standard. That's a pretty typical, you know, cataract surgery.、Um, not really trying to improve a patient's、uh, reduction of contacts and glasses after surgery.、Mm -hmm. Essentially, if we do the monofocal lens, which works great for distance. Then after surgery, you'll need some reading glasses, maybe even some computer glasses. So these are、um, all considerations.、Um, that's kind of a, a downside for me. The upside is it is monofocal distance only lenses have the least side effects possible. So if you do a lot of night driving, or you're a pilot, or a truck driver, or you know something where every bit of your distance vision is required. Mm -hmm. Then,、um, then monofocals are great. So we still do that. Most of my treatments, however, are multifocal or what we call trifocal as well.、Mm -hmm. And the reason is these multifocal lenses help you see far, intermediate, and near. So、mm -hmm. it's it's really the best of all worlds. And、um, it is a it you you have to be really a good candidate for it. Meaning no dry eyes. You. You can't have any other pathology in the eye problems like you know diabetic retinopathy problems, serious problems that can affect the vision even without cataracts.、Mm -hmm. And、um, the night vision, some people will see some halos. Typically, it's temporary. It's very unusual to be a long-term process or something where you you can't、uh, you can't drive at night anymore. But it's a little different in the beginning because remember these are artificial lenses. Yeah, they're not what we were born with, and so the brain has to adjust to it. And most of that occurs within probably the first month to three months.、Mm -hmm. And、um, so I think that, if possible, that's the lens that we use as much as possible. Because that's what people want. We as might as well, if you're having a procedure, a cataract surgery, why need glasses after?、Um, so those are the things that we look at when、uh, when a patient comes, as far as what their data says. Are these which is going to be the best lens for them, and、mm -hmm. what are their needs? And then we come to a decision. So correct, correct me if I'm wrong. So the mo、uh, the multifocal lenses will be considered as premium solution because it can fix nearsightedness, farsightedness, astigmatism, and cataracts. Of course, in the one solution, is that true? That's true. All the things you mentioned and more. All those things can be corrected. If you're a good candidate for it with these、uh, multifocal lenses,、yeah. mm -hmm. got it. Ah,、uh, so the Dr. Marioli 讲的就是说，我们在选择人工晶体的时候，会有多焦晶体或者是单焦晶体。那么单焦晶体呢，就是一个非常啊、呃、这个普通的解决方案，它能够帮你带走你的这个白内障。那么更多的选择呢，现在大家都去做这个多焦晶体，或者说叫三焦段晶体。你可以看远、中、近三个距离。那就像 Dr. Marioli 说的，如果你有机会做一个。呃，白内障手术的话，为什么之后还要戴眼镜呢？而且呢，我们都说这个人早晚都会得白内障的嘛。那伴随的过来，可能就会有老花眼，所以呢，可以在一个手术里面同时解决近视
远视散光，加上白内症的话，那这就是多焦晶体的一个魅力。同时呢，也是很多人都在做的一个事情。那么它当然有好处，就有一些风险所在。那像多焦晶体，它其实不是我们要换水晶体嘛，它并不是人自然的一个水晶体了。所以呢，它可能会有一个适应段的时间，大脑的信号需要调整，大概一个月到三个月左右，可能会达到最好的一个效果。Um. So for those watching and thinking, I may need this surgery. So what are the key things they should consider when pick a lens? Do you have any like patients go for different lenses in each eye? And、um, yes, you're actually that's correct. Sometimes one eye is a good for one type of lens, and the other eye isn't. And so we do what we call mix and match. So sometimes we'll combine,、uh, do a combination. So one eye will have one type of lens, and the other eye will do better with a different type of lens. So I、um, I use almost the same lens in both eyes. But if that situation arises where we we are better by combining, then we'll do the combination. Yeah. Doctor Marioli, my dad is over sixty, and he has been struggling with nearsightedness, farsightedness, but no cataracts yet. So he's thinking about getting a new lens earlier、um, before getting the cataract. What do you think? Is this strategy even make sense? Oh, absolutely. In fact. Most of our surgeries are with very low amounts of cataracts, and、um, or you know moderate amounts. But those who get their surgery sooner, sixties, sixties young. Okay, so yeah, I'm totally on board with that, and I'll tell you here in a minute about something. But yes, I think if he's already struggling, as you said, there's no need in 2023 to wait for cataracts to get so bad that you've missed 10 years of. You know your visual freedom because you waited.、Um, the lens technology is fantastic today. A couple of months ago, I actually got a lens implant in、oh. one eye. Yeah. So、um, when you ask me if I, what do I think of that strategy, I'm all on board. So what did you get?、Uh, it's like、um, a monofocal lenses in your eye right now. So I got a different lens. It's it's、um, not a multifocal. Because of my measure, my personal measurements、um, would have pr- probably produced more side effects than I want.、Mm-hmm. So I had LASIK 23 years ago, and so my again, you know, LASIK just very briefly, LASIK and Smile and PRK. These are treatments that change the curvature of the lens. So if your lens is like this, once you have laser treatment, it's going to flatten out.、Mm-hmm. So sometimes that curvature difference can affect the lens technology that we would recommend. And、um, I just happen to fall into the category of a、um, adjustable lens technology,、um, so that's what I went with, and couldn't be any happier. So, you know, to your point about choosing lenses, we really look at, we have to look at every single eye, not just the patient, but each eye. Wow, look at you! You're definitely a role model. So, you know, 对于 Dr. Marioli 来说呢，他已经就是做了这个。啊、uh, ，这个晶体的置换的这个手术，那他现在还没有 cataract， 也没有白内障，但是呢，他认为说他要提前换掉它的话，就可以更加的确保他的 vision freedom， 更加确保就是他可以一直看清楚。就像前面所说的，像我爸爸呢是在。呃，就是两年前呢，做了右眼的这个白内障的这个手术。那左眼他是没有白内障的，但他现在就问我说，我能不能把左眼也做了，即便我没有白内障？因为他真的是想有一个完全健康的眼睛，就是没有近视、没有远视、没有散光的困扰。而就算你没有白内障的话，你也可以去做这个晶体这个水晶体的这个取出来这个手术。那尤其是你取出来之后呢，你就永远都不用再担心有任何白内障可能性了，因为人工晶体它是不会变 cloudy， 不会变得这个很很浑浊。Uh, Doctor Marioli, some people may just worry about like post-surgery experiences, and I heard somebody said they had halo effect.、Uh, so, how common are these? Would it、um, disappear like in in the long time? Yeah. So, depending on the type of、uh, lens technology, it's very common. If w- it's very common with the multifocal, you can't drive at night, or the halos are so bothersome that that the lens needs to be exchanged. So it is possible that if the、uh, side effects are too much for you, most of the time that lens can be removed and replaced with a different、mm-hmm. type of lens to reduce that. If you're just looking at the monofocal, the distance only lens,、mm-hmm. that is extremely rare to to have that effect because it's just one power; it's one prescription.、Mm-hmm. We call the multifocal lenses multi because there's many powers. There's there's different powers inside that lens, and that's what 
can cause some of the um, halo effect at night. But to be long term is is very uncommon as well. Again, most people around one to three months, sometimes uh, out to six months. It's it's where the the brain is adjusted to this new technology that it's never been used to, mm-hmm. and and is is no longer a problem. And lastly, the million dollar question: What the price tag are we looking at uh, for cataract procedure? Considering we have so many different choices for um, different lenses. Yeah, no, that's great. Yeah, so thankfully it's not a million dollars, so that's good. <laughs> uh, we, uh, depending on the lens technology, the prices can vary. But you know, for our patients, we essentially have uh, have one price, mm-hmm. and um, that makes it easy for the patients to to uh, you know, feel comfortable with their with their decision, um, regardless of lens technology. And um, right now. The price for a lens, a cataract procedure, or a lens replacement with um, the artificial implant is about thirty-eight hundred dollars per eye, and with our twenty-four uh, month zero percent financing, it comes out to about twelve dollars a day. Uh, lastly, I wanted to know how to reach out to you. Like, if somebody wanted to call you, like, what is the best way? Yeah, so I think the best way is to, if they wanted to call, is just to call us at seven one three five two two zero one zero eight, and that is a uh, dedicated Mandarin speaking uh, phone li- phone line for our patients who uh, are more comfortable in speaking in, in Mandarin. OK， g r e a t 所以呢，如果大家呃想打中文咨询电话呢，是713522018。那注意呢，这是从周一到周五的这个 Mandarin， 也就是普通话的这样的一个呃咨询服务。然后另外的话，如果您想获得额外的这样的一个 discount 的话，都可以扫描屏幕上面的二维码。那只有您扫描这个二维码呢，才能够获得额外的这样的一个 discount， 也就是说是一个折扣。Thank you so much, um, Dr. Marioli, for sharing your expertise with us today. And And talking to our viewers about the cataracts, we hopefully we can see you、uh, in the following more episodes. And talking to you. Oh, thank you guys! It's absolute pleasure. And yeah, I look forward to, to speaking with you again about、uh, more interesting topics and anything we can do to help. Great. 那么屏幕前的朋友的话，如果你感兴趣啊，就可以扫码了。那同样呢 ，Dr. Marioli 啊、呃，他是呢，在这个美国休斯顿的这个顶级眼科专家，有二十二年的丰富从医经验，是休斯顿大学手术中心的资深专家。同时呢，他也是休斯顿排名第一 Marioli Visions Professional 的创始人。他尤其擅长白内障的治疗。那么，如果大家感兴趣的话，当然就可以添加他的二维码，或者是扫一扫。Thank you so much, and for joining us today, I will see you next episode. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye. 